The first class of pilots have graduated from the new ag pilot training program at Delta State University. As Candy Stone found out, this program means much more than just learning how to fly. Prior to now, the aviation program is strictly taught pilots to go to the airlines. But not any longer. Because we're sitting right in the middle of Delta and there's such a need for agricultural aerial applicator training, it was, a, it was a perfect fit. Bradley McNeely says thanks to Delta State's new aerial applicator program, 10 new crop dusters are headed to the fields. Bradley credits farmers for speaking out on the ag pilot shortage and Cindy Hines Smith for spearheading the first of its kind program. We all have been like, you know, sons to me at this point. I have enjoyed this more than anything I've ever done. For many Delta families, though, farming is much more than growing a crop and producing a yield. It's tradition. It's a way of life passed down through generations. I got started in this business, you know, from my dad uh, in the uh, in the '60s, and uh, but uh, the passion of uh, of this industry is just, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's it's burned with me, you know. Ike Brunetti's passion for the industry came from his father. He says it's a full circle moment being able to teach these men a trade that has meant so much to him. Carrying on that tradition, uh, continuing the lives of somebody whose passion was as great as mine. While Ike is continuing the tradition of ag flying, that's not the case for new graduate Billy James. Nobody in my family has ever flown. Well, I'm the first. He's hoping to start the tradition within his family through his stepson. I got a stepson that's following me up and hopefully he'll be in here this fall and doing the same thing. The program is not only contributing to Mississippi's largest industry, but perhaps propelling a passion for ag for generations to come. It's uh, living the lives of those prior to my existence, <laughs> carrying on this legacy. In Cleveland, Candy Stone, The Delta News. During the ceremony, all graduates were surprised with having their required helmets covered thanks to Mitzi Woods and the workforce development. They value around $5,000 each.